Well, violent protests are continuing to rock Colombia despite the government withdrawing the proposed tax reforms that incited the demonstrations. The coronavirus pandemic has devastated the economy and President Ivan Duque's government wants to raise taxes to pay off some of the country's mounting debt. But protesters want more state support for small businesses and farmers. And as Moba Nasa reports, the showdown with authorities is only making Colombia's economic woes worse. These shop owners in Cali, Colombia, are taking stock of what remains of their businesses after another night of violent protests in the city. Having suffered irreparable losses, retailers like Mario Velasco say they feel they've been abandoned by authorities. Total feeling of sadness, abandonment and desolation. They have abandoned Cali. They have abandoned us. The demonstrations began last week over proposed tax reforms. The government says it has to raise revenues to rein in debt and attract foreign investments that can help the economy recover from COVID-19 shutdowns. Last year, Colombia's economy shrank by 7 percent. While the economy is expected to rebound this year, authorities have cut the growth target from 7 percent to 4.5 percent. Construction, retail, tourism and hospitality are among the worst hit sectors where demand is unlikely to reach pre-pandemic levels this year. Many of those out on the streets depend on these industries for their livelihoods. They say instead of increasing their burden, the government should help them. The mounting opposition forced Finance Minister Alberto Carrasquia to withdraw the tax bill and resign on Monday. Yet, labor unions, students and farmers continue to agitate. They are demanding a universal basic income, government support for the agriculture sector and small businesses gutted by the coronavirus pandemic. The president says he wants to hold a national dialogue to find solutions to Colombia's economic challenges. I want to announce that we will create a space to listen to citizens and construct solutions oriented towards those goals, where our most profound patriotism and not political differences will be paramount. But his government has responded violently to the protests, arresting hundreds and even firing live ammunition at crowds. That's raising alarms among the international community who are calling for calm in Colombia. We are deeply alarmed at developments in the city of Cali of, in Colombia, where police opened fire overnight on demonstrations protesting against tax reforms, reportedly killing and injuring a number of people. While the deadlock persists, demonstrations and violence are taking a toll on businesses and disrupting supply chains. In Cali, hundreds of motorists were queuing up for fuel as most petrol pumps in the city ran out. The situation is very delicate because people have already started fighting for fuel at service stations. They're already beginning to resell gasoline four times the real price and the food shortage has already begun because vandalism does not allow the transport of food to circulate freely. As the people get more desperate for basic supplies, fears of more unrest are mounting and the government is running out of time to simmer down tensions and revive the economy. Mubin Nasser, TRT World.